The warning about selling on Facebook Marketplace. Experts say that without the right precautions, trying to sell your items could wind up costing you money and even turn dangerous. And our consumer correspondent, Becky Worley, you got to help us protect ourselves? Yeah, Robin, I mean, selling sites like Facebook Marketplace offer a great way to make a few extra bucks, or maybe you save on big ticket purchases. But with scammers getting more and more sophisticated, it means consumers need an even higher level of vigilance. This morning, a cautionary tale for a New York woman cleaning out her closet quickly turned into sophisticated online fraud and a big chunk of change gone. I figured I'd list them on Facebook Marketplace, something I've done numerous times. Sam Silverman posted the pants for sale on Facebook Marketplace. She says a buyer agreed to the price and then what looked like official correspondence from the payment app Zelle arrived in Silverman's inbox. I was getting very legitimate looking emails. The email said she needed to establish a Zelle business account and make a $300 initial transfer to the buyer who would then credit her back the difference. Sam says the stranger never sent back the money. Had I taken a deep breath and, you know, waited 15 minutes, maybe I still would have um, $300. We've had reports on our scam tracker, items not being what they're supposed to be. You know, in some cases, there people sometimes don't feel safe selling and buying uh, in such a public forum. And they warned the crimes can escalate to violence. In Brooklyn, this weekend, an off-duty policeman shot when he met up with an alleged assailant reportedly to buy a car he arranged through Facebook Marketplace. Authorities arresting the suspect overnight, charges yet to be announced. In October, in Charlotte, North Carolina, another alleged Facebook Marketplace meetup over a car, resulting in the buyer being shot. The suspect charged with assault with a deadly weapon and possession of a stolen vehicle. Whew. We reached out to Zelle and they say you should only send money to people you know and trust and to treat Zelle like cash. They do not offer purchase protection. Facebook advises whenever possible, buy through their Facebook checkout. They have their own payment processing and that has fraud protection, but only that when you buy on Facebook. Also, before any transaction, make sure to take a few minutes to check out the other person's profile. If there's something off, be skeptical. You have to start skeptical. They also say if you are meeting in person, and choose a well-lit public area, maybe someplace that has security cameras installed. And many police stations now offer safe exchange points in their parking lots. It's a really smart idea for people who are trying to do this safely. Oh, yeah. And as you said, start skeptical. Mm -hmm. Start skeptical. Uh, That's thank right. you. That's all very, very important and vital information. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. Got it. Thank you, Becky. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.